Hi everybody, I'm David DeCespres, and today we're going to be looking at how to track your time using two tools, Notion for task and project management, and Toggle for time management. So why time track? If you're like me and you're now working from home, scheduling is key. And it could mean the difference between getting things done and making progress across multiple projects or work extending late into the night or getting delayed or um, postponed. There's a lot of benefits of time tracking and whether or not you do it consistently, tracking tasks and projects over the course of the week gives you insights into three key things. Number one, how long it takes to do certain tasks. Number two, when are you most productive and what time blocks are you most productive? And last, when it makes sense to schedule certain tasks, whether they're lighter or heavier projects. So this is really a walkthrough for anyone who's trying to implement time tracking, but is not quite sure how to get started. So let's dive in. So the first tool that we're going to be looking at is Notion, and it's definitely worth exploring as a project management tool if you haven't already. It's very open-ended, and there's some awesome community of users that are always sharing templates, workflows, um, pages that they've been using, dashboards, and many of which are available as templates to duplicate or copy. So having a community there makes it a lot easier to get up and running with Notion. And the second tool is Toggle. Very easy to use, intuitive, but has some really key features even in the free version that can help you get that visualization of the week and of your schedule. That's really going to help plan the weeks ahead. And one thing to note is if you are using another task management software, like maybe you're using Todoist or if you just like using Google Docs, Toggle has a long list of integrations that allows it to work with the majority of productivity and work tools out there. So we'll get into that and understand how to turn on or off those integrations. So let's go ahead and log into each of these two. So I'm in, in Notion and I'm going to go ahead and log into Toggle. Great. So Notion, just a quick overview if you haven't used it, there's a sidebar which you can set some favorite pages for quick access and a list of workspaces as well. And this is just a dashboard where I have um, certain sections laid out as well but the main area that I tend to start with is projects which we'll get into and toggle uh, there's few key areas sidebar gives you some tools some of which are specific to paid users but the areas that we want to focus in on are the actual timer and projects and the calendar which we'll use for reflecting at the end of the week the third component of this is downloading the Chrome extension, or if you're using Brave or Firefox, this works as well. So I'm going to search for toggle. Should be the first one that shows up. So I'm going to add this to Chrome. So I've already logged in and now I have the toggle button in the nav bar. If it's gray, that means it's inactive, so it's not tracking your time. And then when you do start, um, it's gonna turn red. So now I wanna integrate this with Notion so that this toggle button also shows up in my Notion page. So if I click on the toggle button, I'm gonna to go to settings. And we have a few things here, but I wanna to go to integrations and scroll through this list. So as I mentioned earlier, Toggle has a long list of integrations. So if you're not using Notion, 
this workflow will probably work very similar. So I'm going to scroll down here to Notion and turn that on. And give that permission. So now let's go back to Notion to see if this is set up. I'm going to refresh this screen just so if it needs to update with the toggle button, we can do that. And going to my teaching board and I'll open up this task. So now we see our toggle button and Texas says start timer. So now this means that if I start the task <clears throat> from within Notion, now this title will show up in toggle as well. So if I go ahead and start that. Now I've started the timer and we'll confirm that this is on and tracking. I also want to add this to a project. The, the more there's a parallel in terms of project names between your task manager and toggle the better because then that way you can kind of keep it consistent in terms of when you reflect on week you know what time and what time blocks went to certain tasks but also to which projects so click done and if you notice the toggle button at the nav bar also turn red which means that it's active and you can turn on or off the time tracker here as well. So if I go back to the toggle window, we can see that it's running. And then if I decide to stop, now I've got this new addition in toggle. So fast forward a week, you've tracked all of your tasks over the previous week. What do you do with that? Um, the tool within toggle that I've found to be the most helpful is the calendar. So if I go back to a previous week, this will give you an overview of when you worked on certain projects and also when you worked on specific tasks. Remember those three things earlier that we talked about, which were when do you complete certain tasks, typically how long does it take to complete a task, and how can you use this to plan the upcoming week. So that's an overview of how to use Notion and Toggle for time tracking and scheduling and planning. And um, whether or not we get it 100% in the first week, it's definitely a heavy habit to build. So it could take a while before this gets integrated into your normal workflow. But being able to have the visualization and the data of previous weeks and using that to more realistically plan future weeks could really help um, stay productive and stay mentally healthy as well. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.